Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you another comparison video. Today I'm comparing a 2024 Volkswagen Jetta GLI 40th Anniversary Edition, this guy right here in the foreground in pure gray, to a 2024 Jetta GLI Autobahn 6-speed. Okay, these are the last two GLIs that I have on the ground right now, so this is what I have to work with. This is a DSG, that is, an, uh, is a manual, a 6-speed manual. So visually the cars are going to look the same i'll go over the differences between this trim level and this trim level here 40th anniversary edition and audubon back here uh usually there's only one trim model or trim level of the gli unless it's an anniversary edition so um this year uh, is a, we're, we're kind of on the end of the year the model year run here and i have both so i figured i'd make a comparison video so you can tell the difference if you're shopping for one okay Let's start off with the guy in the front. Pure gray exterior on this guy. This is available on either one. So is black, so is rising blue metallic, and also I believe King's Red is available on the uh, 40th anniversary edition. Don't quote me on that. Uh, I haven't seen one of those, but I know I've seen blue, I've seen white, and I've seen pure gray. So those are other ones I've actually seen. It comes with 18 inch black wheels, similar to the Pretorias that were on the Golf R. Uh, these are 18 inch wheels it says gli 40 right here on the quarter panel flare right there you have the red accents at the front and the full led running lights uh with the lens leds inside the uh chamber there or inside the headlight there then you do have this red line just below the gli logo it goes right up to the emblem on both sides both cars are equipped the same for safety features, adaptive cruise control, lane assist, blind spot monitoring, autonomous emergency braking. Uh, the, auto, the, uh, the anniversary edition is going to have black mirror caps, black window surrounds, the black wheels, red calipers down below, front and rear. The dual exhaust tips at the back, these are real exhaust here. So you've got the dual uh, exhaust with uh, the baffles down below, the honeycomb design. And then you also have the black... Uh, lip spoiler on the on the trunk it says gli down here and i've been moving cars today and i tried to get these cars done earlier and birds pooped on both of them so i apologize for the bird poop but if i wash them they're going to poop on them again so i just leave it alone all right pure gray down the side here nice sharp bow line out of the tail lights into the door handles down the side into the emblem right here and then you see the black door handles let's take a look at the inside of this one on the inside the red ray stitching on the door inset right here. This wood grain pattern with uh, the red and brown and a little bit of black in here looks really good. Piano black around the door handle right here and also there's your unlock and lock there. Trunk release button there and then bottle and cup storage in the door panel right there. You do have this angle cut right here on the arm pad. It's leatherette with a red ray stitch down the side. It says GLI 40 on the scuff plate right here inside the door. And then you also have this piping right here. Uh, on the seat uh, it's red race piping there and then race stitching on the seat of the armrest right there there's also this pattern on the seat right here and I apologize for the uh, the loudspeaker in the background there you got a manually adjusted seat there raise and lower the seat there and then seat back adjust right here and the red piping continues up the side of the bolster here as well as the red stitching and then you come up the side here with the uh, the back here with this uh, kind of design here on the seat uh, this is a, a, a race stitching on the uh, headrest as well. It's manually adjusted. It says GLI 40 on the, the little tag on the side of the seat here. And then you have that pattern in your two outboard seats in the back. Uh, that's more of a dark gray color. And in the middle seat right there, it's black separated by red piping there. And there's a fold down armrest in the middle. As we go ahead and climb in here, stainless steel pedal caps down below, just like you do on the other GLI. Uh, and then the sport steering wheel here with the sport grip at nine and three. Uh, you do also get capacitive touch on the steering wheel here. Your volume controls off to the left. Song skip, skip and preset skip off to the right. It says 40 down here on the uh, steering wheel at the base of the steering wheel. And there's that red GLI uh, paint down here as well. Down at the bottom, flat silver finish on the spokes here. And then you have this instrument cluster here. So this is a different instrument cluster than you get in a regular Jetta, obviously. Uh, this is gonna be the same uh, instrument cluster that you get in the GLI Autobahn as well, just minus the premium audio. 
there's the look at that red and black and brown uh, kind of wood grain pattern pattern here it's kind of a mimic of that uh, what that pattern would look like your vents are set up here also down below the stereo and then off to the right over there as well heated steering wheel is not in this one you have to get the Autobahn to get that uh, you do also have your safety features here you push the button on the tip you have lane assist you do also have adaptive cruise control the button for it is right here to turn that on you have a choice between that adaptive cruise control and regular cruise control and you also have uh, blind spot monitoring rear traffic alert and then front assist and then of course you can exit out of this just by pushing the button there you do get automatic headlights here um, I just recommend it setting recommend setting it to auto and just leaving it alone over here on the radio you get AM FM and satellite you get gesture control with this guy as well so you get 36 presets so you get a nice array of uh, stations here um, you do also get uh, the backup camera it's a static backup camera it doesn't do trajectory steering just red and green uh, for the icons here you have red signifies where your trunk lid is and also where uh, your bumper is and the green line signifies straight back so you have that there so turn the wheel left or right nothing happens you don't get the yellow line for tra trajectory steering go ahead and put this back in park three main views for this screen here this is the dial screen and just by hitting the view button I can go to the wide screen and then also the crop screen uh, like I said before this does not come with navigation on it so you're not really gonna see what I'm talking about about widescreen and things like that there aren't really things settings here that occupy all of the space there to show off that widescreen setup paddle shifters on the automatic or DSG ones you'll have that set up there uh, here's a look at the shifter it's backlit it's also traced out in red around the edges uh, but that backlight there piano black on the top there it's backlit where you can see the gear down below right here you do get wireless charging in this one and also you can plug in right here to get Apple CarPlay or Android Auto uh, if you just hit the app button here um, you can do uh, I believe this is going to do wireless app connect as well as wireless charging but I'm not 100% sure here it's saying use the USB but I think you still can do wireless app connect with this one uh, I haven't tried it out piano black around the edge of the radio here and also around the instrument cluster going over to this side over here this one does have an auto dimming home link mirror three door garage door memory a digital compass off right there uh, and then you have the black headliner panoramic is not a panoramic sunroof that's in the Autobahn this one here uh, you have the vanity mirror there's no light above on either side but you do have the vanity mirror on each side and your dome lights and your map lights are all incandescent so you have that for rear front sides and what have you um, a pillar of course just a regular speaker over there not the beats audio setup um, and in the glove box there's your manuals tire warranties in the ziploc bag right there so you have all of those goodies right there um, back to the radio for a second you are going to get ambient lighting with this car so you'll still get ambient lighting but you won't have premium audio so with the ambient lighting you can change it from automatic automatic allows it to change between red white and blue pretty much if you change it to manual you've got a 10 color setup where you can go to purple you can go to pink you can go to blue teal red yellow um, different colors here I always partial to purple so I set it to purple and it brings everything up purple up here up here and the phone tray down here gets gets kind of flooded with purple light as well uh, you do get heated seats in this car I think I said earlier you don't but you do you just don't get the ventilated seats so the heated seats they start on high then medium then low then off on both sides you have that then your vent setups are all right here and then you also have the three knobs down here with dual zone climate control so you can have his and her climate set up here or uh, passenger and driver can have different settings in other words the off button is right here max defrost here rear defrost down here there's your auto set to your thermostat here so it'll either heat or cool to do whatever your thermostat says there or cover up that sunlight right there's kind of bright the menu button brings it up on the screen up here where I can actually uh, adjust my temperature down or up right there so you have that there's also a knob down here to do my fan speed it does pop up up here where I can also adjust it here as well so the sync buttons here there's also a sync button up here and then you also have the max defrost here I'm sorry max AC here and regular AC over here to the right 12 volt charger port right here your traction control button is right there auto start stop shut off is right here that's something you won't have on the manual transmission mode button right here 
uh, and then your park, parking brake right here. Here's a look at the key fob. They do give you a fancy key fob, and this one came in with masking tape on the back. I'm not sure why, but we'll clean that off, obviously. But there's a Volkswagen logo on the back. It's black up here and chrome down at the bottom. Lock and unlock and trunk release right there. Um, so this is a kind of a fancy key for the 40th anniversary. And the cup holder here, it's a stadium seat style cup holder where this one's taller than this one here so your cups don't battle for supremacy. But you do have GLI emblem right here in the first one and 1984 down here in the second one when the GLI first came about uh, symbolizing the 40 years. It's hard to believe that 1984 was 40 years ago. Um, passenger seat over here, there's your loop to slide the seat forward and back. Again, it is a heated seat. You cannot raise or lower this seat, there's no handle over here to do that back here the seat back adjust with this little teardrop shaped handle back here and then you have bottle and cup storage in the door let's take a look at the armrest here in the armrest storage in here there's a USB-C in here so you can actually plug in here but this doesn't share any data the two USB-C's that you're going to use are right up here those two share data there's also a kickstand you can just lift up on this guy right here put that down and now the armrest sets up a little higher let's take a look at the back seats Here's a look at those wheels for the 40th anniversary edition there. This one comes in at 31401. Extras on this one are 395 for the pure gray paint, 495 for the auto dimming home link mirror, 296 for the monster mats and heavy duty trunk liner and cargo blocks, 195 for a third year pre-maintenance, 1225 for destination brings you to 31401. Open this one up in the back here. The arm pad back here is also leatherette, this textured leatherette with the angle cut here. And the door panel here, it's that textured uh, plastic surface there. And then you do have a bottle and cup storage in the door down here and also on that side over there. The seats, that pattern continues on the end seam of the seat. So the middle part of the seat here, you have red piping on the edge on the bolster. And it comes up right about here on the back of the seat. Um, the headrest is fixed on both the outboard seats. The middle seat is adjustable. As I go ahead and climb in here, I'm going to shut this door here. Lots of leg room back here still. I'm nice and comfortable here. I can feel the air nice and fine from the front up there. I don't have vents back here in the GLIs uh, for the rear passengers. They're underneath the seat down here where my feet are on both sides. There's a look up front there. Instrument cluster right there, an infotainment screen. Uh, headliner back here. And then uh, car seat hookups are right there on the left seat and over here on the far right. Now this is essentially a GLI with a trunk. I'm sorry, GTI with a trunk. Uh, squishy yet firm on that armrest right there. If you can't really make the GTI work because of car seats, uh, kids, you know, the husband trying to get a little bit of need for speed and you can't make the GTI work, the GLI is a worthy, worthy substitute. Let's look at your headrest right there. There's a pocket on the passenger side rear of the seat. Uh, the seats are sculpted for knee space back here. I'm wearing my Reese's socks again today, guys. So we're set up for success. Let's take a look at the trunk. There's another look at your wheel right there. As we come around to the back here, the trunk lid right here. There's a look at the uh, the black spoiler and lift the trunk here. Monster mats right here. Regular cloth mats come with the GLI as well. Front license plate, we leave that off on purpose. And cargo blocks right here in the center. If you lift up this cargo floor right here, there's a hole cut there. There's a look at your spare. The jack apparatus is all right there inside of that. Now, when you go to the Autobahn, you're going to have a subwoofer in there. And that just closes the trunk up. GLI off to the left. So on the outside of these cars, you're not going to see a whole lot of difference between the two. As we move on to the Autobahn here, the Autobahn has a different 18-inch black wheel, different pattern here. Uh, then the GLI emblem on the front there, has the, the. it looks the same. It doesn't say 40 or anything like that. Now, uh, mirror caps on this one are going to be black. This car is all black, so you're not going to see any of the black package accents on this car. Uh, so it's going to look, it's just going to look murdered out. So as we go around this one, panoramic sunroof, which I have open on top there. Front end looks the same. Now, the GLI emblem on the front here is still red. However, this little bar right here that goes across is surrounded by chrome on either side. It's a red strip in the middle with chrome surrounding it. On the GLI 40th, it's only the red strip. That's it. These red accents down at the bottom continue on both. Integrated turn signals and the mirrors on both. There's a look at your red calipers on the front there and also on the back here. 
So no real differences there. Just a good looking car. You still get the honeycomb baffle down here and a dual exhaust tips. Black lip spoiler on the back of this one as well. It just doesn't pop out because the car is black. As we open the door here on this one, door inset looks the same. That red, black and brown wood grain pattern here, piano black around the door handle, triple contrast stitch here, and then a contrast stitch or the red race stitching. And then you also have it on the arm pad here with the angled cut. Difference on this one, well, not going to see a difference here. You have a fuel filler, I'm sorry, uh, trunk release button there, and then bottle and cup storage there. The difference here, the scuff plate doesn't say GLI or 40 on it. Uh, it just is blank right here. You do have three seat memory here with power lumbar, forward, back up and down here, and seat back adjust here. The seats are now leather seats that are heated and ventilated, and they have a red underlay underneath the black seats. So it gives it this wine, or kind of purplish color uh, to, on the camera, but it's actually black with red underlay. There's a look at the red ray stitching on the adjustable headrest there. It's also leatherette there. Leatherette on the side of the seat, leather on the face. Uh, and then you also have this new pattern here, this, this design here that's kind of an angled cut and then straight and then angled again, both on the seat back and the seat bottom right here. As we look at the back here, the arm pad right here trimmed out in red. The seats in the back are also uh, the leather seats with the red underlay on the two outboard seats. The middle seat is leatherette and a fold down armrest just like before. Headrests are fixed in just like they were before. And then as you climb in this one, we have a little bit of a different look here. Instrument cluster is kind of the same. Uh, it's showing red right here. Um, then you do have down below the footrest, three pedals here, of course, that are stainless steel uh, pedal caps on those. Capacitive touch on a steering wheel with your travel assist, lane assist, all that good stuff, just like the other one. This one now adds a heated steering wheel on the bottom right and song skip and preset skip over here to the left. If I push this button on a tip right here, there's my lane assist once again. I do also have adaptive cruise control, regular cruise control, blind spot monitoring, and rear traffic alert and front assist. So I can push this button again and get out of this one. The vent setup is exactly the same. The radio setup is exactly the same from a physical standpoint or a look standpoint. Now this one does add Beats Audio. There's the Beats Audio emblem right there on the window speaker on the A pillar on both sides. Now. Uh, steering wheel has a sport grip as well absent our paddle shifters of course because this one is a six speed it doesn't use the red trim around the shifter here it's just a regular old shifter here with reverse on the top left right here and it's a six speed manual wireless charging here two usb c uh, right here and then you have dual zone climate control in this one as well with the addition of heated and ventilated seats Okay, so the heated seats and the ventilated seats work the same, just as they did in the other one. They start on high, then medium, then low, then off. And I'm definitely turning the heated seats off, and I'm going to turn that ventilated seat off on the passenger side. Vents down here below. The radio is angled towards the driver, just like it is in the other Jetta. And then there's your vent set up over there on that side as well. Uh, now, up above, home link mirror auto dimming is on this one as well. Digital compass right there. This one does have a vanity mirror with incandescent bulb lights above on both sides and a panoramic sunroof in this one with a manual sunshade. You can open that guy up. There's my sunroof right there. I do also have a sunglass caddy right here so I can store sunglasses in that guy right there. And then you do also have uh, a black headliner on this one just like the other one. In the glove box, manuals right there, tire warranties are all right there just like there were in the other one. Uh, over here you have the push button start the e-brake setup right here, your driving modes, and your traction control on and off, and a 12-volt charger right there. Bottle and cup storage in that door as well. This seat, the manual seat, oh, is a manual seat over here on the side. Even though it's leather and it's heated and ventilated, it's still manually adjusted right here. Over on the side here, no handle to raise or lower this one either. And then you do also have a the teardrop shaped handle back here to move the seat back angle. Bottle and cup storage, once again, the cup holder right here, same stadium seat set style set up here. It's textured here instead of saying GLI in 1984 or GLI in 40 or whatever it did in the first one there. I think it was GLI in, in, in 1984 down here. Uh, it's it's textured here. Same thing, no, their stadium seat style cup holders where you don't have, we have one taller than the other, so the lids aren't battling each other for supremacy. The key fob is similar to the other one, just no chrome. VW logo on the back. You have lock, trunk release. 
or trunk unlock and then also the lock button with a panic alarm on the side a little bit of storage right here the boot for the shifter has red stitching on it as well the arm pad right here you do have a USB-C in here and then you do have the same kickstand here where you can raise and lower this seat right or this armrest I should say right there so seats are nice and comfortable let's take a look at the back seat so we open this one up there's a look at that back, that back wheel again right there this one comes in at 34501 extras on this one include 595 for the GLI black package that's 18 inch wheels painted not painted alloy black side mirror caps and black trunk lid and lip spoiler um, so some of the black on this car they're not charging you anything extra really for it uh, because they're not charging you for a paint color or a black roof or anything like that but it is charging you for the lip spoiler uh, then the black wheels uh, 595 on this one 405 for the auto dimming home link mirror 296 for monster mats for the entire set of monster mats and also um, the uh, home link mirror uh, the, the home link mirror is 405 I should say 296 for monster mats uh, 195 for 30 year prepaid maintenance 1225 for destination brings you to 34501 opening this one up that textured plastic back here on the door panel leatherette down here no red ray stitching here though you have bottom cup storage there there is the ray stitching on the edge of the seat here on the bolster it goes up just halfway up on the seat back here the upholstered leather seat back here it's not heated or ventilated back here but it is a leather seat on the outboard seats that middle seat right there is leatherette. Fold down armrest in the middle right here. Squishy yet firm, adjustable headrest in the middle. And as we climb into this one, lots of leg room once again. There's a look up front. There's a look at that sunroof right there. Beautiful day going on outside, guys. There's a look at your steering wheel setup right there. You do have everything nice and neat and organized here. There's your shifter there, armrest. My Reese's socks once again. Remember, remember the vents are down underneath the seat here on both sides. There's a pocket on the back of the passenger side rear seat. Seats are comfortable as well. Car seat hookups in these are just like they were in the other, just you're using a leather seating surface instead of a cloth one. Same on this side right here. That fold down armrest, squishy yet firm right there in the middle. Let's take a look at the trunk. Here's another look at your wheels there. And as you open this one up, there's your cloth mats over there on the left. You do also have a front license plate bracket there, ready to install if you decide you need that. The GLI rubber mat kit right here has the GLI embroidered right there, or stenciled in. And then here's your cargo blocks. Underneath the floor right here on this one, as I adjust my camera here, there's your spare tire, jack apparatus, quick release subwoofer right there. You just unscrew this guy right here. Pull out the subwoofer, disconnected, and you have your spare tire. There's your jack apparatus off to the side right there. There's a handhold on either side for these. Both of these have LED headlights, tail lights, and reverse lights. Uh, the turn signals on the front may be incandescent. I'm pretty sure that they are. This car has the dual exhaust tips at the back right here on the back, just like the other one over here. Both of these cars come with a four-year, 50,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty on them from Volkswagen. Four years, 50,000 miles, and includes three years of included maintenance on either one. If you're interested in either of these cars, or if you buy one from me, I should say, you will get an additional three years of free maintenance on this car. That's a local deal only, though. You'll have to come to my dealership to get those additional three. Also, if you buy from me in Bomberito St. Peter's, I'm going to give you a 10-year, 200,000-mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. So if you're interested in one of these cars or another one like it, give me a call. 636-290-4257. 636-290-4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Resales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Have a great day.